There is a look at Belma Pond's man, Georgie Welcome, into hostile territory, but territory knows nonetheless. It's home country of Honduras, originally from Roatan, the 32 year old. Certainly not once what it used to be, but still score with the best of them. Here's Martinez. Bends it in towards the back post. The header just flying wide. And caught dead in his tracks with Shane Oreo. Ball in for Martinez is excellent. And just look at the way that Marrera nods it along. This time it just a little bit. But had it been on frame, Oreo probably would have been caught off. And Diego Vasquez liking what he sees from his team in the opening six and a half minutes or so. Party had one game conclude tonight in the Scotiabank CONCACAF League just moments ago. Arabe Unido taking down our net gardens of Jamaica. Panamanian club coming away with a victory. Chance for Belmapon right into the hands of the Matagua keeper. Jonathan Rougier. Best chance of the night so far. Comes by the way of Jerome James sitting on that last defender. Georgie Welcome tucked in right beneath him. Romero. Tulio Vega. Sent in, Belmapon don't deal with it cleanly. Stays in place as the assistant referee on the far side. Welcome holding up play in excellent fashion. Melendez trying to defend. And the veteran. Not with much pace left in the tank. Certainly plenty of skill and tactical ability and technical ability. All those tricks of the trade that can come in handy as that ball is cut out. Juan Montez, Romero on top of it. He's 19 years of age. Three appearances for the club last season and the start here tonight. Melendez. Plenty of green to gallop into. Nobody from Belmapon stepping to him just yet. Decides to dump it in. But defended extremely well by Dalton Eiley. The 34-year-old from Stan Creek, Belize. Excellent defender. Got a lot of miles on the odometer. Pushing 35 years of age. More defending to do for the Bandits. FC Matagua looking for the breakthrough. And to send Tegucigalpa into a frenzy. Hondurans will go short. Back out. The shot on frame is blocked in front before it can get to Shane Orio. Still trouble, but eventually over the line. But giving up the body it was Khalil Velasquez. Wearing number 11, you see him sitting right in front of Shane Oreo. Does extremely well to make sure that he doesn't get a hand to that and get called for a penalty. And Shane Oreo, the 37-year-old keeper from Corozal. 19 caps with the Belizean national team. Ten minutes in to this round of 16 first leg between the Belmapan Bandits and FC Matagua in Tegucigalpa, Honduras. Ivan Cisneros having a few words with Belmapan as they're trying to play quickly. So they need to wait for his whistle. Not at a long. Belmapan trying to keep it in play, able to do so at least for the time being. But eventually running out of room is Ronnie Sanchez, 33-year-old from Taylor Honduras as well. 
small Honduran contingency on this Belizean side. Kevin Vincent as well. Wearing number eight but not starting. Available off the bench. Space for Matagua in the middle of the field. Closed down quickly. Gonzaga gets it right back. Welcome. Long for Jerome James. Gonzaga asking for it, but won't receive. Good first touch, excellent first touch from Hector Martinez, the 27-year-old from Mexico, but called offside. Great angle there, our outstanding crew. And Honduras able to catch that. A little more than a ninth of a way home. If you're Belmapon, a new little draw on the road at FC Matagua would certainly go a long way when going back to Belize. Plenty of time left in this one and plenty of space to play for the Hondurans. They send it across and it's in. But it's offside. Felix Cristiano. Rather, that might have been Roberto Marrera. And that is a terrific call from the assistant referee. How he saw that, I do not know. No VAR in the Scotiabank CONCACAF League, at least not yet. That smirk from Ivan Cisnero says it all. And it was, in fact, Marrera, whose goal gets called off in the 13th minute. Plenty of confidence for Essie Matagua going the other way, though. Shot falls in front, could fall again for Marrera, but an excellent challenge. And it's Martinez who goes down. Clutching that left knee, and now clutching his face. Well, that sometimes comes to the territory. Well, Martinez giving up his body for the sake of the team. And still rolling around. And now medical attention will be waved onto the field. Here at the Carrier Sandino. Hector Martinez still getting looked at as the Bandits will get an opportunity to get a quick rinse. Jerome James talking to the coaching staff. Talking to Kent Gabarel Sr. Martinez being helped onto the stretcher now. And how about those for some medical uniforms? Not only ready to save lives, but to enter battle as well. Martinez being helped off, and now the decision needs to be made if you're Kent Gabarel. If there's a substitute involved now, and then Shane Orio gets set to send it the other way, as we are nearly 15 minutes in from Tegucigalpa. step forward but nobody on the other end for Belmapon to hold up play and Melendez will coolly play it to his center back Juan Montez the 32 year old from Salaco in his sixth season from SC Matagua
Matagua with a lot of pressure. Ball bent in. It's a good one. Tulio Vega, the shot blocked. And now Belmapon trying to come out the other way. Welcome with a great first touch. Gonzaga back for the Honduran legend. Now Welcome sliding it through. It's perfect. The Bandits on the move, but off of his line. Jonathan Rougier. And Martinez back out onto the field after being carried off in a stretcher just a few moments ago. I'll let you guys sort that one out at home. FC Matagua threatening again. Contact at the top of the box, but Ivan Cisneros not interested whatsoever. And Shane Orio interested in getting the counterattack started. But first, we'll get a look at the no call. And Sanchez was trying to weave his way through. Good entry ball from Melendez. Goes back out wide. Sanchez brought down in his own penalty area by Trevor Lennon. And to come out the other way, much to the displeasure of the few some odd thousands who have made their way out to Tegucigalpa to see this round of 16 clash in the second ever edition of the Scotiabank CONCACAF League. Romero asking for it back. They're taking it into his own feet is Walter Ramirez. Walter Martinez, I should say. Martinez again. Now one for Melendez. And Hector Martinez, who's off the stretcher and back into the match, doesn't agree with the call. And this will be a free kick in a very dangerous area for the Honduran side. And trotting over to go take it is Ronnie Sanchez. And that's Carlos Sanchez, 27 year old from El Progreso. Very dangerous chance here for the home side. Sort of a makeshift corner on that type of angle. Georgie Welcome, Gonzaga, and Martinez in the wall for Belmapon. Welcome the bigger body. Blocking that near post side. Now towards the middle, whipped in by Sanchez. It's off the head of Welcome, and a corner to come. Ball whipped in with a ton of pace and authority from Carlos Sanchez. Nine goals a year ago on top of this set piece, turning 28 in about 23 days on August 23rd. Great ball sent in, and Georgie Welcome fulfilling his defensive responsibilities at the near post. Sanchez ready again. 
again, it's Georgie Welcome there and cleared away by Gonzaga. Martinez clears it away. Last line of defense is Romero. Tulio Vega. Great little ball through. Offside. See Tulio Vega. Chirping with the assistant referee who, in all fairness, is done an excellent job so far including that offsides call and what do you know he gets another one right so far Belmapan has done an excellent job of absorbing the attacking blows from the home side FC Matagua in these opening stages and they've settled in nicely And no stretch of the imagination out of the woods, but dealt with the first part of the game extremely well. Here's Martinez. Tulio Vega and Galvaliz. Dumping it in behind. It's loose in the box. It's Sanchez. It's denied by Oreo. Back in towards the back post, Jerome James is there. But first big task of the night completed by Shane Orio. Carlos Sanchez swiped at it. But the 37-year-old veteran standing tall. Now Melendez being encouraged forward by Galvaliz. Melendez back in. Loose at the top of the box again. Gavaliz, Sanchez now on the left wing. Bends it a great ball. The header, it's over the bar. How did he miss it? Oh, it was Marco Tulio Vega. What a magnificent opportunity to find the breakthrough. Shane Orio is down as well. Massive collision right on the goal line. Tulio Vego getting a talking to by the referee now, Isidro. Rather, Ivan Cisneros as you get another look at nine times out of ten from Tulio Vega. That's finding the back of the net. And this is the save from Oreo. Sanchez just needed to put it anywhere but right at Oreo. Terrific technique. But just straight into the keeper. That being the fourth shot on target for SC Matagua, who are continue to flex their Honduran muscles at home. Shane Orio, seemingly okay. Didn't need the stretcher, unlike his comrade Hector Martinez. Zoom play in the 25th minute. Nil-nil between FC Matagua and Belmapan Bandits in the first leg of this round is 16. Seconds could fall if not for a cool head from Marcelo Pereira. Local boy from Tegucigalpa. And one goal last season. Played 90 minutes against Platense. In a 1-0 win. Morero with the long goal in that one. Here's Gonzaga. Dumped in and cleared away by Pereira. Another one clipped in at Ruggier. Snatches it out of the air. And sparking the counterattack the other way. Off and running is Martinez. Eludes the first defender. Martinez into the area. Drawing three defenders, still Martinez. A long range effort gets all the way through in Oreo. 
knocks it down in front of him. Offside. It's not the third or fourth time that I see Matagua attacking front has been caught behind the last defender when the ball was played. This time the culprit is Tulio Vega. It was Marrero who was offside on the goal that was called back. Pond knocking on the door to the 28th minute. Still nil nil on the road in Tegucigalpa. Salawa taking a little while to throw it in. And it ends up being virtually useless in the end. Georgie Welcome looks up to the heavens. Not certainly a game where he's getting an enormous amount of touches. He'll have to take the opportunities when they come to him. They'll be far and two in between. And James called for the foul. Castellanos slow to get to his feet, the 25-year-old. From Tela Honduras in his fourth season. Never scored a professional goal as Melendez bends it into the foot of Martinez. Goes back out wide. Bullish work. Sent across. And Marrera wasn't sure where it was. I see Matago asking all the right questions of this Belmapan defense. Lopez getting forward. He's got another look as Rugier. Distribution quickly the other way. Jerome James gets a touch to it. Salawa. Acrobatic clearance doesn't get very far. Here's Sanchez spraying it. It's perfect the other way. It gets all the way through the shot saved by Oreo again. And the deflection kept in place somehow by the veteran keeper. And it was Kevin Lopez one more time getting in on the attack. And every shot that Oreo has seen virtually from inside the penalty area has been right at him. Ball intended for Georgie Welcome finds nobody but Rougier. Ronnie Sanchez trying to do his part on the attack and play the distributor role. Melendez, back out for Lopez. I believe that was intended as delivery. Ends up almost being a turnover. Martinez. Calvaliz. Lopez. 
Back out. And Galvalese's shot never troubling Oreo. Maybe a bit too patient for MFC Matagua at times. Certainly have played some beautiful football at times tonight, but nothing to show for it just yet. Welcome, nods it along. Sanchez trying to locate the ball. Finds the feet of welcome. Good ball in behind. James might be able to get there. His first touch shot going wide. Maybe a time to bring that down and try to get it away, but Melendez was right in the neighborhood defending for the Hondurans. Salawa giving chase. And it's Romero, the teenager, getting there. Lopez linking up with Martinez, wants it back, does not receive it. It goes towards the back post. Great ball in from Sanchez. Oreo gets a strong fist to it. Romero, Galvaliz. Gamble, lost, shot! Just flying wide. And another chance gone by the wayside for FC Matagua. But it's wave after wave of attack from the Hondurans. This time it's Tulio Vega. Romero, Galvaliz, looking for an option, but Belmapan starting to come more and more tuned in as to what the Hondurans are trying to accomplish going forward the other way. So an excellent job getting numbers behind the ball. Once again, able to thwart the attack. Sanchez somehow cleans it up. He's been excellent tonight. Melendez. Never bothering Shane Oriel. The other match going on right now, FAS and Perez Zeladon. 1-0 to the Costa Rican side in the 33rd minute. That goal coming in just the second minute. Took less than 120 seconds to get going. My math isn't that good, but it's taken us a lot more seconds than that for us to find one. Here's Galvaliz. Sending it out wide. And then the pass. Wasn't the best from Tulio Vega. And they'll go the other way as Georgie Welcome fouled. I want Pablo Montes, the captain. Again, a lot of these FC Matango players running on fumes who played 90 minutes on Saturday against Platense in the opening stages of Liga Nacional. Again, Morero with that goal in the 22nd minute. FC Matango did qualify for the Champions League. Most recent addition a few months ago, falling to Tijuana. Two to one on aggregate. Let's see Matagua side playing virtually at 3 6 1. Sanchez whips in another great ball. Sanchez part of 
that wingback contingency that's responsible for covering just kilometers after kilometers of space. Can't keep that one to play, though. Welcome. Oh, how good is that? Draws the foul. Straight up filthy footwork from Georgie Welcome. He's going through the defender, Marcelo Pereira. And Pereira with no choice but to say uncle. Pablo Montes getting a stern talking to from Ivan Cisneros. Sanchez, Ronnie Sanchez, that is out wide for Hector Martinez. Mexican heads out to collect. And wisely knocks it off the defender. Lopez and able to win a corner for Belmapan. And in a game on the road in the first leg against the superior side as far as keeping the ball, perhaps a set piece is your way through. Martinez towards the back post. Easy work for Ruggier. Lopez waiting for the cavalry to arrive. Down Valiz, fending off Martinez. Georgie Welcome continuing to put in the running. Forced to do a lot of defending here. Here's Martinez. Weaving his way through. Sanchez looking for a call. Not going to get one there. Lopez again. Galvalese. Switches it over for Sanchez. And his delivery off the mark. First time we've said that tonight. A near flawless performance for Mr. Sanchez besides, I guess you could say, wasting an opportunity in front of net. Challenged Oreo. And then that delivery there. But regardless, an outstanding player in his own right. Into the 40th minute, still nil-nil. Lopez on the move. And dealt with Trevor Lennon. Big 35-year-old defender from St. Ignacio Town. Tulio Vega. Salawu gives it away, commits the foul. Great chance for the set piece, especially with Sanchez and that mean left peg of his. And a problem here for Belmapan. Salawu, as soon as your hands go up, claiming you didn't do anything, you probably did something. Referee Ivan Cisneros well aware of that. And it will indeed be Sanchez on top of the free kick. Shane Orio organizing the wall. The crowd here in Tegucigalpa. Starting to sense possibly a breakthrough before the halftime whistle. The ultimate backbreaker, Sanchez. Straight into the wall. Lopez. Tulio Vega. 
Oreo off of his line, knocks it away, loose, Oreo off of his line, still. Sanchez again, blocked in front, three chances for FC Matagua, and three denials from Belmapan. And it'll come out the other way, a frustration foul if I've ever seen one from Sanchez. What a sequence, we'll take another look at the foul. Georgie, welcome. That's a great ball in. James was trying to put it on frame. Sanchez asking for him to be a little bit more economical with the ball. James looking up to the high heavens for an answer. Slowly but surely approaching the halftime, but we'll have a few minutes of injury time. When Hector Martinez was stretchered off and then on cue back on the field in about 90 seconds. And another foul called against Belmapan. This time holding a play was Roberto Marrera, responsible for the game winner against Platense over the weekend in Liga Nacional. Thirty-one goals for twenty-one against for SC Matagua in the most recent Clausura stage. They lost their leading scorer, Ramon Castillo, who had twenty-three goals in all competitions, including eleven in the league. Next highest player didn't have more than five. So a big question coming into the season for SC Matagua is where were the goals going to come from? And that still remains a question as they're tied nil-nil with the Belmapan Bandits. Here's Sanchez. His shot takes it a flexion and the header trying to be steered on frame flies over the head of Shane Orio and the crossbar. Not a bad idea for Juan Pablo Montes. Well, Jerome James needs to be careful keeping everybody on side there. That's now 14 shots for FC Matagua. Nine of them have been on target. Shane Orio is going to have to have a super like performance in these two legs if Belmapan are going to advance. He's about a quarter of the way home. Martinez brings it down, albeit loses it. The return pass blocks Gavalese. Martinez. Cavaliers dumps it in. Marrera was trying to leave it off for Sanchez, but claiming it to be his own was Trevor Lennon. And offside is Georgie Welcome, and that's a nasty forearm thrown after the fact. Welcome claiming it was just a shoulder. by the Mexican Martinez trying to find Ronnie Sanchez and a good tackle to make sure FC Matagua didn't go the other way. Lennon gets a touch to it. FC Matagua on the move again. We'll have two minutes of stoppage time at the end of the first half here in Tegucigalpa. Two more minutes for Belmapan. To stop another couple of attacks for SC Matagua. Two minutes for the Honduran side to perhaps find the breakthrough. Contact over on the far side. Galvaliz thought there would be a foul called. Diverts his path a bit. Salawu. Haven't seen his best yet tonight. Sanchez bringing it down. 
into the path of Martinez. Patient play from FC Matagua. Sanchez into the box, brought down Galvaliz. Loose in front, could fall for Martinez, but cleared away by the Bandits once again. They bent but not broken. And Sanchez straight into the chest. The Palio Velasquez. Galvaliz given all time to deliver this ball in, and it almost ended up being a nightmare for the Bandits. I'm sure that'll be a topic of discussion for Kent Gabarel Sr. at halftime, is the amount of time and space FC Matagua has on the ball in Belmopon's defensive third, no less. to the 48th minute now, and Ivan Cisneros says that's enough for the first half. The Belmapon Bandits holding on for dear life here in Tegucigalpa. Meanwhile, let's see Matagua doing everything they can to try to find the back of the net. They did once, but Moreira's goal was called off about half a step offside. Rougier didn't have to do much. Shane Orio, quite a different story, made a number of saves. Last time we checked, it was nine. And the Belmont band is very happy with their performance in the first half. A nil-nil draw on the road in a hostile environment here in the Carrias Andina would go a long way going back to Belize. And SC Matagua, most of them with their heads down. You can see the body language different. Belmont feel like they won the half. FC Matagua feels as if they were hard done. And there are the statistics, don't they say it all? Lions share the possession for the Cyclone Azul. Nine shots on target, 14 overall. Brugier has just had to make one save. To be fair to Belmopon, they've had a couple of opportunities, but Jerome James seems a bit anxious in front of net when he's gotten there. Georgie Welcome, we haven't seen him really put his stamp on this game, but I have a feeling in the second half that's all gonna change. For the moment, it's SC Matagua nil, Belmopon nil at the half here in Tegucigalpa.
Well, we'll take a look at the first half highlights here from Tegucigalpa, Belmapan Bandits of Belize. And FC Matagua from Honduras to do battle for 90 minutes and then another 90 minutes down in Belize. But first, Jerome James getting things started for Belmapan. This is in the first about 120 seconds or so. Great ball over the top from Sanchez. And I mentioned before that James was a bit anxious in front of goal. That shot certainly had the pace and power, but right into the hands of Rougier, his only save of the first half, but then it would be wave after wave of Matagua attacks. Velasquez getting in front of that one. Galvalese pulling the strings in the middle of the field. And this one fall right to Sanchez. Rather, that's Lopez in front. Arguably one of the better players on this FC Matagua roster. And Shane Orio coming up with one of his nine saves in the first 45 minutes. Then it's Sanchez this time. And how on earth did Tulio Vega not get this down on frame? Orio was in no man's land, was on his way down. And Diego Vasquez expects more and knows his team can do more. And then this effort from about 4,700 yards out. Easy work for Orio. And then Sanchez, another terrific ball, finding Lopez. Guess what? Another Shane Orio save. It was just wave after wave after wave. And to this point, Belmapan, denying the laws of nature, have not corroded just yet. And then again, Tulio Vega challenging Oreo. This one flying past that far post. It was a gamble from Trevor Lennon. He lost the hand, but didn't end up losing all of his chips that remain nil-nil. Then Shane Oreo knocking it away again. This is a crazy sequence. Not one, not two, but three chances deflected in front before they even get to Oreo. And Sanchez claiming a handball there, not given by Ivan Cisnero. And this is another one. Jerome James had an opportunity to nod this back across for his teammate, Ronnie Sanchez, but seemingly to no avail. And then this deflection from Juan Pablo Montez, just skirting high and wide. And thanks to our outstanding producer, Ryan Rose, there was a shot every three minutes. And a save every couple of minutes as well. As we are working through halftime here in Tegucigalpa. A very exciting one on our hands, albeit a one-sided one. Belmapan and FC Matagua, second half kickoff when we come back.
Back here at Tegucigalpa in Honduras. And a couple of substitutions for Diego Vasquez, NFC Matagua. As it's going to be Lincoln Lopez coming on. One more other substitution that we'll have for you in just a moment. As we're officially underway for the second half, Belmapon saw 14 shots, nine of them hit the frame. Shane Oreo, the 37 year old keeper, spent a number of years in Costa Rica, has been great with the Belize national team, and has really been all over and has been terrific at every stop that he's made. Making a number of terrific stops tonight. And as Tulio Vega exits the match, Lincoln Lopez enters. And Belmapan with a good start to the second half. Georgie, welcome. Welcoming the pressure. And the other substitution. For this side. It's Cristiano coming in. And Melendez coming off. And it was Estupinan. Pardon me before the Lincoln Lopez. It is Estupinan coming on. And the ball over for Lopez. Lopez with the shot. There it is for FC Matagua. Couldn't get it done in the first 45 minutes, but it only took him two minutes into the second half. It's Lopez with the breakthrough in the 47th. 1-0 to the Honduran side. Kevin Lopez gets the first ever goal for FC Matagua in the Scotiabank CONCACAF League. There it is, keeps it low, hits it hard. Salawu just a little bit too much space, actually goes right through the legs of the defender. But how about the ball out to Lopez? Just steady with it, waits for his moment, and seizes the moment. Diego Vasquez, a big sigh of relief. And perhaps the floodgates will open. Up until this point, they've stood strong, but Lopez breaking down the walls just this once in the 47th minute. And it's Jerome James sending welcome on his way. Maybe a quick response for the Bandits. Again, this is a two-legged format in the CONCACAF League. An away goal is worth a lot more than just a single home goal. If tied on the aggregate, after the two legs, it goes to away goals. And if it's tied on away goals, obviously it goes straight to penalties. But at the moment, it's FC Matagua with their lead in the 47th, thanks to Kevin Lopez's goal. Gonzaga's ball never gets past the near post. Velasquez. And Ruggier. Claims that one. Trevor Lennon. The goal scorer, Lopez, bringing it down, oozing with confidence. And taken down hard by Hector Martinez. A little bit of frustration from Martinez, who hurt himself in the beginning of the first half. The jacket officially off for Diego Vasquez. It's Morera. Lopez in support. Morera gets it away. And cleared out of play by Lennon. Marrera, great strength, sends it all the way across. And Jerome James has to take the safe way out. 
And the safe way out results in an FC Matago corner. Very good defending in the end from Gainer, making sure that his man didn't get too close to the six yard box. As James gets ahead to it, still loose in the box. Gainer, a touch. Cristiano dispossessed, but Gonzaga gives it right back. Montez comes away with it. Remember Cristiano. Still trying to find his way into this game. Quite literally found his way into it just a few minutes ago. This guy near is down. With the Belize inside. Check that the Dalton Eiley. Flick on from James. Sanchez with good strength. And there's two fouls there. One on Sanchez and one on Gonzaga. And it was Sanchez who called the worst of the two tackles. Eiley forced to go all the way back for Oreo. And the 37-year-old sends it away, almost gives it straight to the feet. Well, the on-rushing is Stupinat. Now Lopez towards the back post. And the Stupinat couldn't quite get what he wanted on it. Now it's Martinez, a bevy of moves, sends it in, and Oreo smothers it. Chalk it up as another save. Great moves from Walter Martinez. 18 starts last year, 36 appearances. He's had eight goals in the last two seasons. And he as well played 90 minutes against Platense. Martinez keeps it in play. Lennon gives it away. Lopez finding Galvalese. Around the first defender, sliding it through. Oreo off of his line. More clever play from Galvalese, who's really been controlling the tempo in the middle of the park for the Honduran club. Looking to carry that Honduran torch in the CONCACAF League. One of their counterparts in Liga Nacional Olympia are the reigning champions and the only champions this tournament has ever seen. Is this ball in? Is a good one. Is stupid on. Mistimed it. Marrera denied by Eiley. And it should be a corner coming up as Eiley goes down. And that's Marrera. Excellent ball from Lopez, and Estupinan wasn't exactly sure what to do with it. Carlos Sanchez likes to go short. Back for Galvaliz. Gets the defender to bite. Gavaliz in towards the area. It's loose in front. James almost tapped it in. How did FC Matagua not get their second? Oreo was nowhere to be found. And now he's found prone on the goal line. Claiming that he got whacked in the head. We'll get another look at that opportunity. There were two different players for FC Matagua who had an opportunity to just get any sort of touch to it to get the second. 
Highly biting on the Galvalese feint. And it was a Stupinon and Montez who could have tapped that in. Shane Orio a bit dazed, but seemingly not confused. And it's going to come the other way. I believe it was a foul throw in. Rarely see that at this level. Sigma Tongwa have their goal in the 47th minute thanks to Kevin Lopez's strike from just outside of the area. Cristiano. Galvalese lets it fly. Oreo hangs out to it and makes the save. Well, when you're still playing professional football at 37 years of age, there's usually a reason why. Or at least a couple. There's one of them. Incredible athleticism, hand-eye coordination. Able to keep it out and reel it in. Welcome. Sprays it wide. Jerome James. Lost it in towards the back post. Welcome tried to take it on the first time, going for the spectacular. We've seen it from him before. This one clipped through. James able to get there. Puts the brakes on his shot blocked. Velasquez. And Ruggier sears it fly over the bar. And we'll have a substitution from Kent Gabarel Sr. And it's going to be Tremaine Harris coming in. And replacing Ronnie Sanchez, the 33-year-old. So his night in his home country finished in the 58th minute. Clearly not happy with his performance. And it'll be Tremaine Harris coming on. 21-year-old from St. Ignacio Town. Pacey forward. And it looks like we'll have another Honduran coming on in Kevin Vincent. Just 20 years of age. Certainly not the tallest in stature. And it's Gonzaga coming off. So Harris will fill up up top for Sanchez. And it'll be Vincent to take that spot in the middle of the park. Good show of strength, or at least it seemed like it from Velasquez. Ends up being a foul in the eyes of Ivan Cisneros. Cavaliers just knocked off the ball. Sanchez and Martinez on top of the free kick for FC Matagua. It'll be Martinez all the way towards the back post looking for Montez, nods it back. And broken up by Jerome James. Sends it along looking for Vicente. Was sliding it through the 20 year old. Trying to find the 32 year old.
Great delivery in, Marrera. His delivery, not quite what FC Matagua were looking for, and he knows it. Man of great quality, just eluded him for the moment. We've reached the hour mark here at Tegucigalpa. One score, and it's for the home side. And it comes from Kevin Lopez in the 47th minute. For Belmapont, they have not had a shot on frame since the sixth minute. And it came from that man, Jerome James. Two substitutes getting involved. Vicente looking lively, but Tremaine Harris can't link up with the 20-year-old. And now it's FC Matagua off to the races, but broken up. Dalton Eiley on the scene. Velasquez. Harris driving forward, but bullied off of the ball. And Romero, a little bit of a laugh after the fact. And it is a foul on Romero. Evan Cisneros encouraging the Belize inside to play. Lennon delivers, looking for James. Dealt with by a gritty FC Matagua back line. Sanchez along the touch line. Wow, how good is that? Martinez. Closed down quickly, recovering really well with Dalton Eiley. Here's Harris on the move. Nobody's stepping to him just yet. Tremaine Harris over for welcome. The Honduran legend puts it on frame. And Rougier has to make the save at the near post. Well, Georgie Welcome was that close to equalizing and getting a crucial away goal for the Bandits. Well, it's been 56 minutes since Rougier has had to make a save. Could prove to be a vital one. Khalil Vasquez towards the near post. Had to just be knocked away by Sanchez. And Velasquez got another opportunity at it. Second corner of the half, only two to speak of in the first 45 minutes. Again, the delivery, not up to snuff. But he'll get a chance to redeem himself. And Georgie Welcome just saying a little bit more. Get it a little bit higher up and they might be able to get there. This time it's a much better delivery. Kept in play. Martinez, bicycle kicked attempt. Will be jocked up just at that, an attempt. Good determination to stay on his feet. Lopez looking for the return. Salawu broken up just enough. Bodies all over the floor. It's like a massive game of Twister. Carlos Sanchez takes it over the top. Marrera. Slightest of touches from Dalton Eiley. Sanchez curling it into the path. Wilmer Cristiano. 
Lopez. Cristiano delivers. And a goal kick coming for Shane Orio. If it had gone over the line, which it did not. See Matagua supporters trying to encourage their side to maybe one or two more goals before heading back to Belize in a week's time. Lopez, the lone goal scorer of the night on the move. Bending it in. And it's Vicente bringing it down, closed down extremely quickly. Thought he had a lot more time. Lennon gets it away. And Tremaine Harris putting on enough pressure so that Belmapon can retain possession. Welcome, stood up. One slip through. Cristiano towards the back post and Jerome James with a savvy play to just let it run through. James challenges. And Romero with a big couple of touches towards Rougier. Just restarting for FC Matagua. One by Lopez. Estupinan on the move, as well as Barrera. Over to the wing, the shot in front, block, shouts for a handball. Lopez again, stopped in his tracks by Lennon. Over to the far side, the first time shot, just wide in the near post. It's Martinez who had two opportunities there. And Ivan Cisneros. Unhappy with something. Well, you'll rarely see teams who are down a goal engage in time wasting. And as you get another look at a couple of chances here, here's the first one from Martinez. A claim for a handball. Wow, that's close. But back to Oreo with the format and heading to his second leg. One goal away to SC Matago in this environment with Larevo of the Honduran club in full voice is not a bad result. So it might seem strange, but at the same time, it is calculated for Oreo and Belmapan to be comfortable with this result heading back to Belize. As Eiley sends this in. Velasquez in for welcome, his shot blocked. Salawu. Hector Martinez. Fouled and fouled hard by Cristiano. He pulled the nutmeg off and then Cristiano cleans him out. Martinez has already been stretchered off once tonight. Tell you what, it is some nifty footwork. Cristiano goes into the book. Martinez quits the theatrics. Yeah. 
Great opportunity for Belmapon in the 71st minute. Welcome. Well, not his best effort. Played at some big clubs, Georgie. Welcome. Monaco. Of Liga. Atlas. Of Liga MX. A couple of loan spells with those two clubs. And there's this effort flying wide. And Georgie Welcome did have a hat trick in Belmapons. Plasura stage final leg number two to be able to give them an 8-4 victory over defense to qualify for CONCACAF League having the better aggregate out of the two champions in the Plasura and Apatura stages those just being the two different seasons played of the Premier League of Belize it's how a lot of the CONCACAF domestic leagues are set up same goes for SC Matagua. <laughs> Referees just play on. Marrera, Galvaliz, Crisanto. Cavaliers again, Marrera staying on his feet, delivers a great service, but Estubinan couldn't rise to the occasion. Almost a disastrous mistake for Montez as Harris was being a nuisance along the back line. Crisanto forgot something for a moment. Sanchez, good ball in. Oreo mistimed it completely, and Marrera knows he had a chance there. Well, it's right in that corridor of uncertainty between the six yard box and the penalty box. Uh, Trevor Lennon is going to get stretched out by Shane Oreo. There's Diego Vasquez and company looking for that insurance goal or maybe a third. Georgie, welcome having a Intense conversation with Ken Gabarel Sr. Shot count right now 20 to 6 in favor of FC Matagua. Welcome. Here he is again. I haven't seen Cisneros not interested. Sanchez, a big sweeping ball intended for Marrera. Might get all the way through to Lopez. Good pursuit from Khalil Velasquez. And able to win a throw in. That's very good defending. From the 32 year old. Played 180 minutes in Belmont's first two games. 
in the Premier League of Belize. Able to beat defense five to three on July 22nd, their most recent affair. Georgia Welcome as the only goal for Belmapon in CONCACAF League history for the Bama Pets, for the Belmapon Bandits, excuse me. Got those two mixed up. Work from Eiley. Montez going all the way back for Rougier. Harris providing the pressure. Welcome committing the foul. Galvalese winning the free kick. Crisanto. Lopez, the lone goal scorer tonight. His ball a little bit too much on it. Goes into Marrera. Trying to get it back for Lopez. Tight quarters. Lopez still comes away with it. Slides it across. Galvalese. It's two for FC Matagua. It comes by way of Lopez. It's finished by number 10, Galvalese. And it's a 2 0 lead for the Honduran club here in the 78th minute. Well, it's a mistake from Eiley, goes to ground way too quickly. And then Galvalese positions himself beautifully. And Lopez with the presence of mind to pick his head up, send the ball where his number 10 is going to be. And it's a cool technical finish. Galvalese. Four goals last season in his first year with FC Matagua making a big impact. And the goal technically coming in the 77th minute. And a couple of substitutions coming on for Belmapan. Looks like it's going to be Marcelo Santos coming on. Excuse me, Humberto Requena. It'll be Marcelo Santos coming on for FC Matagua. Now a lot of work to do for Belmapan. Not only in these last 12 minutes, but heading back to Belize next week. And welcome foul. Claiming it should be a card. Ivan Cisneros. Maybe not agreeing with the Honduran legend as right on cue Santos getting ready to come on and he'll be coming on for Roberto Marrera <laughs> 31 year old who's in his first season with FC Matagua as well Paraguayan who's done well and had a goal called off for being offside but has certainly put in a nice shift here and his night will come to an end in the 80th minute. Had 14 goals in 2014 with Estudiantes de San Luis. Played 90 minutes against Platense as Belmont were knocking on the door until they gave it away. Lennon recovers. Vicente. A stupid on for Crisanto.
back in is Stupinon's header. Flashes wide. It's more good work from FC Matagua. As Stupinon made the right run, snuck it behind the defense. But the finishing product eludes him, at least for the time being. It was very similar to the earlier game with Araba Unido and Arnett Gardens. No goals to be had in the first 45 minutes, but three goals for the home side in the second half. The last one coming in the 96th minute. Here's Georgie Welcome. Belmopan could really use with an away goal. And a corner kick coming up now for the visitors. Vicente, this corner all the way towards the back post. Jerome James can't get there. Tremaine Harris, another substitute. Sees that to play wisely. Gaynair committing the foul after giving it away. Ian Gainer actually had a goal against the United States in the 2013 Gold Cup, albeit a 6-1 loss for Belize. And was also praised for reporting a bribe that he and a teammate were given. But has been a major part of the Belizean national team for a number of years. 32 years young, Ian Gainer wearing number seven and on the ball right now, almost giving it away. Third minute, Lopez and Galvaliz, the goal scorers. As a pensive Kent Gabarel Sr. looks on. Trying to avoid two straight years of being knocked out in the round of 16 of the Scotiabank CONCACAF League. Vicente gets tied up with Martinez, and it's a foul against the youngster. Galvalese, the most recent goal scorer, will take a deep breath, get some big bodies forward, as FC Matago will look to put this out of reach before they even leave Honduran soil. La Revo, the supporters group here in Tegucigalpa in full voice. Here by Eiley. Welcome. Dispossessed. Welcome, not happy with the referee. Maybe not happy with the scoreline or a combination of the two as Crisanto skips away from Hector Martinez. Crisanto is still with it, cutting across. And the ball out of play. It'll be a goal kick for Shane Orio as Martinez is down yet again. Almost stayed in play throughout that entire sequence. And Martinez goes down again. Shane Orio just telling him to get off the field so that he can continue. You have to appreciate that from Shane Orio. And it's a yellow card for Martinez. That was probably a long time coming. He got stretched off and then basically sprinted back on the field. 90 seconds following being on the stretcher. Martinez leaving his team a man down at the moment. Messi Matago trying to take advantage.
Romero. Lopez trying to sneak his way through, still with it. And a foul called right on the edge of the area. 86 minute great free kick opportunity from about 19 and a half yards out. And it looks like a yellow card will be issued as well. Or perhaps it's just making Hector Martinez his yellow card official. Lopez even got that away. The spray put down by Ivan Cisneros, organizing to do for Shane Orio. And the shot well over the bar. The left foot that Sanchez has on him. I figured it would be him on top of almost every single set piece. It was Walter Martinez, the 27-year-old from Tegucigalpa, local boy. Trying to challenge Shane Oreo and put it in the back of the net. Kevin Lopez in the 47th. And Galvalese in the 77th. Half an hour separated the two goals. Two goals separate the two sides. Vicente. One for Rakenia. Vicente holding off pressure. And his shot. Well, it's the dreaded shot that goes out for a throw in. Well, you can see why Kent Gabriel Sr. loves the 20 year old in the middle of the field. Lively, full of energy, technical on the ball. Lopez. Matias Galvaliz. Santo, excellent. Santos. Back for Gavalese. 89th minute. Martinez, good skill, somehow still has it. Gets it along for Tremaine Harris. Look at the speed from the youngster. Harris on the move. Romero trying to push him off the ball. And a foul against Romero. Those two have been going at it virtually since Harris has entered the field of play. And it looks to be a Romero who's down, as this will add to the injury time at the end of the 90 minutes, which is approaching in about. 30 seconds. Heavy first touch from the referee. He's got to clean that up. Well, they're asking for a stretcher. Last time they asked for one of those, Hector Martinez was back out on the field. In less than a minute, as we'll have four minutes of stoppage time.
Well, Romero helped on through the stretcher. And the free kick to come for Belmapon, who with one goal can completely change the complexion of this round of 16. At least as far as the second leg is concerned. Free kick, wasted, looked to be a handball at the top of the box. Indeed it is. Lopez, who already has a goal and assist tonight, makes a disastrous mistake. It could be worth an away goal. We'll have to wait and find out. Just completely fans on the ball, had his arm out. Clear as day. Can Jonathan Rougier bail out the man who already has a goal and assist tonight? Most likely going to be welcome. If I were a betting man, I would put money down on that idea. Vicente there as well. Georgie, welcome, keeps it low, spills it in front. There it is for Belmapon. James knocks it in, but it's offside. Oh, what a moment it would have been for the Bandits. Jerome James. Well, it wasn't James who was offside, but rather Lennon. Now the question becomes, is it fair to say that Lennon was involved in the play? If that is the case, then obviously he's offside. But if not, well, then there's a different story to be told. And it's going to be a yellow card. And I believe that's Martinez. That should be his second. He just received one. So that'll be a red card. And he will miss the second leg. And now Belmacon down to 10 men in his first leg. Well, when you're diving around and getting silly yellow cards at the beginning of the game, this is the sort of thing that can happen. And maybe a lesson learned for Hector Martinez. So the Mexican in early exit tonight and will not be available to try to help his comrades back in Belize climb up this FC Matagua mountain that is currently two goals high. Not Hector's night. Into the 95th minute of play. Salawu, Try not to give it away and give up a third. Lennon might just do that. Santos trying to get it away. A good tracking from Lennon. Avoids conceding the corner. Crisanto. Matias Galaviz. Decent ball in. Claimed by Shane Orio. So we have to be in the last moments of this one now. Well into the 96th minute. Just four minutes added on, but a lot of that ate up when Martinez was sent off. 
Ivan Cisnero says that's enough. NFC Matagua will head to Belize with a two goal lead. Thanks to goals from Kevin Lopez and Matias Galvalez. Goals coming in the 47th and 77th minute respectively. Both great in their own right. And both will help FC Matagua try to move on to the quarterfinals. First leg of the quarterfinals in the book for these two sides. They'll head back to Belize in about a week's time. FC Matagua take a 2-0 lead. Belmont certainly with some work to do for our outstanding crew. Producer Ryan Rose, I'm Tyler Terrence saying so long for now. Final score, FC Matagua of Honduras, two. Belmont of Belize, nil. We'll talk to you soon, folks. Kevin Lopez is your man of the match.